Hello everybody, welcome to my channel Crypto Explorer. Today's video, I'm going to be talking about the Casa Lightning Node, uh, Bitcoin Lightning Node, their new browser extension and their move to making its software open source. So in September of last year, Casa announced the Casa Lightning Node, uh, basically an easy to use all-in-one Bitcoin full node and Lightning Node. And um, pre-orders shipped around November and December of last year and I got one. Now it is it retails at three hundred dollars, which kind of seems a little hefty for the hardware that it's on, because it's basically a Raspberry Pi with a one terabyte hard drive, and the hard drive has already been um, pre-synced with the Bitcoin blockchain. And honestly, the price tag at three hundred dollars is a bit much. For the hardware but you're not really paying for the hardware if you wanted to buy the same hardware you could do so for roughly about 100 to 120 dollars and you could actually make your own i have done so uh last year where i built my own raspberry pi lightning node um, and bitcoin full node but the value that you're getting with casa is really not the hardware but the software so what they've did is they made a lightning node that is very user friendly um easy to use easy to set up basically plug and play updates itself well easy to update not really updates itself and all around just doesn't take a lot of technical knowledge to get up and running so i picked one up and here here's mine running here um and it it is very easy to use it you know i just updated it um there was an update um in its firmware and that was easy to do and i can't say the same for my raspberry pi bitcoin lightning node and full node updating that is a, little, a lot more difficult even interfacing with it for example um in here you have the bitcoin section the lightning section section you can see it's active this is synced easy to withdraw deposit as you can see i have a little bit of bitcoin here in here and then in the lightning a little bit of um in lightning transactions in here and it's very easy to use to send a lightning payment and request the lightning payment not hard at all and for management of your node very easy to do as well And here for the lightning side very easy and then of course you can view your lightning node in their explorer and see how many channels are connected to it so very easy to use and if if um you don't want to deal with all the technical stuff i i suggest getting the casa node it's just really easy to set up um i built my uh, raspberry pi lightning node and it wasn't the easiest thing to do and it's not the easiest thing to work with so this really brings the barrier barrier to entry uh, for running a lightning node uh, down a, by a lot so the cool part is um they've announced that they are let's go open sourcing their software so basically they're putting it out in a github and it's already been posted and it comes in these, uh, I guess, four modules of their Node API, the dashboard, the manager, and the updater. So it's very cool that they are doing that. So I, I can foresee in the future, uh, maybe somebody is going to take um, these um, sources, these files from the GitHub, and compile uh, an image that we can burn onto an SD card and boot up a uh, any Raspberry Pi with it so um, pretty much looking forward to that um, I personally don't have the technical skills to do that or the time to look into it but I'm pretty sure somebody out there in the crypto community is seeing what they can do to to uh, put out an open source image that's a lot easier to use than uh, Raspi Blitz so the other thing that they have uh, they have a Casa browser extension. So this I'm going to try out right now. Um, 
So what they have here is, let's scroll down over here. So with the browser extension, you could do quick payments on websites that accept Lightning, as you can see over here. So pretty exciting to have the extension built in and then um, connect to your node. So you're basically doing, you're running everything on there. So let's see here. Very cool. So I'm going to give it a try. Um, this is going to be my first time trying it out. So let's go over here. Connecting to your node solve. So basically install a Bitcoin Lightning node on your computer. Got that. Navigate through the Lightning node command. So, okay, this is what you have to do without the CASA. So as you can see here, it's a very big pain. So with a CASA extension, connecting to your CASA node is secure and easy as one click. Very cool. Let's try this out. Okay. So over here, ready to use CASA extension for your CASA node. Yep. So let's click here to download it. This is on Chrome. Okay. So here I am at the Chrome web store at the CASA extension page. I'm going to click. Well, let's go through this. All right. Let's just click on it. Add to Chrome. Click add extension and it's been added. Okay, let's click on this extension. Connect your CASA node. So it's going to search. I guess, okay, there was no response. So I'm going to put the local IP on here. And I'm going to click on connect. And there you go. Let me input my CASA node password. And it's there. So there's the name of my CASA node. No transactions found. Okay, great. So I'm connected to my CASA node in my web browser, my Chrome web browser. Okay, now that we have the extension uh, configured on our browser, I'm here at Satoshi's place and let's give it a try and um, buy something over Lightning with the extension. So let's click let the games begin and let us do make something a little uh, let's try in this color, purple. I'm going to make a smiley face uh, of some sort. Okay, there you go. So that's going to cost me 70 Satoshis. Click Submit. So here's the payment request. So I'm going to copy this and then open the extension send payment paste it I'm gonna click on review payment there you go click confirm send There you go. It says lightning payment sent. And I can choose to open a channel. I'm just going to click done. And there you go. Now let's go back to Satoshi's place. And refresh this. And it should be there. Okay. It did take a little while for it to go. But considering that this is all done, confirmed and everything, uh, and all done by your own hardware um, that you host yourself. Um, I'm pretty excited with what the future has in store for Bitcoin and with Lightning. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.